Hey, what's up, guys? This is Lobo from Diablo Lobo's Paintball, and I'm previewing my latest Steam. This one I've actually spent a little bit more time on, not because I actually wanted to, but because my schedule was kind of busy, so I really didn't get a chance to make another theme until now, and it took a couple days. So hopefully, you guys will like it. Um, it's basically it's kind of something that I like because I'm a Dodge Neon owner. Um, I and so I thought I'd make a theme for everybody else who likes Neons or the SRT4 specifically. So this is kind of a theme for you guys or gals. Okay. So basically you can see here is the slide to unlock the Mopar logo. And you can see a nice uh, screen saver and you'll probably hear the unlock sound once I unlock it and you can tell it's the sound of a turbo for SRT4 shifting this is a really nice touch I personally think as you can see here uh, the custom screen uh, nice appeal here for the gentleman of course Maybe not so much appeal for the ladies, but hopefully you can understand. Custom calendar icon, custom clock icon. Um, this actually looks best, in my opinion, the way I have it set up here. As you can see on my screens, I have the calendar and the clock. And then I have installed the five dock icon, and I have Safari, messages, phone, mail, and iPod on the bottom. Um, and then all the rest of my icons are on the other pages. As you can see. So that's uh, the way I would recommend you have it set up is have 5 dock icon installed. Insti install the live clock application as you can see here as it's ticking because uh, that adds a really nice effect. Um, and then just leave your calendar and your clock icon on the main screen. So that way it lets you see the actual wallpaper in the background and it looks nice and clean. Um, that's just the way I recommend you set it up. But you can set it up any way you want. But as you can see the calendar icon is custom. Uh, you see the day, the date, and uh, SRT4 neon in the back. Uh, Orange Crush, I think is what this one was. Mopar uh, logo here, Mopar clock. The uh, SMS, phone, mail, iPod icon, all custom. Uh, just like modifications with the Mopar logo. Uh, when you open some of the applications, of course, you get this the screen loaders, uh, as you saw with my other theme. Uh, this is a custom icon, the photos icon. And that's kind of what you see when you get the uh, launch photos. Uh, here's what you see when you launch YouTube. And let's see what else I have here. Cydia. And then the App Store. And then you have maps. And then you have weather. And you'll see it'll change. You saw the day and the night back back screen there or wallpaper there for weather. So you got a chance to see both of those. Um, contacts. Um, iTunes. Uh, let's see and this one uh, lockdown I made a custom loading screen for this one too because I use this application a lot and let's see here the stocks and the notes icon are custom but nothing really launches when I open those applications that I can recall uh, notes that's actually my car right there and let's see, I don't think Stocks does anything. No, I didn't load anything for Stocks. Uh, this is version 1.0, as of course, with my other theme. So I will, when I get a chance, update this. Or if you guys have any suggestions, y'all can email me. I'll take them into consideration and then release a later update. Um, there is a couple sounds. You heard the uh, turbo. So you can hear the turbo spooling up. And the uh, and the blow-off, once you're shifting, you can hear that. That's the 
unlock sound. The lock sound is this. It's kind of a burnout. So that's the uh, lock sound. As you just heard, that's the new mail notification. So I have the lock, the unlock, and the new mail notification. I didn't take too much time putting in any other sounds into it right now. I do have a couple other sound files that are ready to be installed, like an SMS notification, possibly even a ringtone, but I decided to not do that now. Um, but it, again, if you guys feel that you want that, definitely let me know. Uh, but as you can see, like I said, just a pretty basic theme like my other theme that I have out there. Um, the dock here is really nice, I think. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, of course, because my icons are in the way. But the SRT4 logo, again, the wallpaper here, and then the custom icons. Okay, there was one uh, thing that I left out real quick that I wanted to go ahead and include, and that was the phone. Um, there's a loading screen for that. And then also, the other thing that I put on here. Now this I'm probably going to change. Some people uh, that looked at the beta version of this before I release it, people at work, uh, said they like this, but it would actually be nicer if you could see it. And then when you dial, it kind of fades. Because right now you really can't see it. But as you can see there as I'm dialing, there is a nice picture of a nice SRT4 in the background. But you really can't see it because... Uh, you know the the numbers and everything are, are covering it up so the suggestion that some people had is that I make the whole dial pad with the picture and then when the dial pad is being depressed that it turns like into a lighter icon so that way you can see the picture at all times so uh, you guys give me feedback on that if that's what you want and the uh, you know 1.1 release I can change that if you guys like it the way it is let me know but that is one of the things that I did want to mention that uh, I left out the first time and I think there was one other loading screen um, yeah and I don't think that one was previewed in the first one so that's pretty much it uh, there may be some other nice little things that are in this theme that I left out um, so if I did I apologize but again this is just kind of a quick video just to let you guys know what's in there so thanks again